Mosier, Belfield, and Masamba. So Weselowski, Weatherill, Johnson, Speed, and Carroll on the floor for Grand Canyon. Mosier, Hawkins, Masamba, Wallace, and Belfield for the Rebels. And it will be Bryce Masamba and Justin Weselowski. Or check that, it will be uh, Chris Johnson, the 6'6 forward, to take the tip. Fans excited, they're doing the, the shark chant. <laughs> and the ball is up, the tip is won by Masamba to Oscar Belfield, the Rebels move from right to left. To Wallace, back to Belfield, left side. Belfield, top of the key, he'll stop and pop for three, it's short, no good. Rebound taken by Masamba, he gets tied up, and a jump ball, and it will be, or do they get a foul? One official called jump ball, the other got the foul, and it will be a foul call on Justin Wesolowski. Nice fight by Bryce Masamba down low, and we already see you know, the Rebels, you have an open shot, you take it. That's the philosophy. Well, uh, the, the smart thing that Bryce did, even though he was tangled up underneath, he, he went up like he was shooting the ball, and one referee saw it as a foul, which was smart on Bryce's part. Bryce shooting two, misses the first. Our opening tip brought to you by Jack Nicholas Design. Bears Best Las Vegas. Play 18 holes any morning and save $25 when you book your tee time. Ask for the John Sandler special. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Save $25 off your morning round of golf for golf and tee times. Call 804-8500. Masamba misses both free throws. And quickly up the floor comes Kyle Speed, a very quick point guard. Speed, top of the key. Speed, waiting for a pick, instead gives the ball to Weatherill. Weatherill, left-hander, back to Speed, out top right side. Speed gets a pick, top of the key, backs away. Now comes across to Chris Johnson. Johnson down the right side against Hawkins. Rebels double him. Cross-court pass to Weatherill. Weatherill to the foul line, and a foul called on Justin Hawkins. Hawkins thought he got all ball, but uh, Hawkins will be whistled for the foul and going to the line to shoot free throws there. I think they're going to say it was a shooting foul. Are they really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. He didn't take another dribble. And, and oh, he didn't have the ball anymore. No, he didn't. But when Justin, when Justin reached in, he just he, he made a shot attempt like he was shooting the ball. But uh, in that case, Justin's got to get over. He was in good position, but he can't can't afford to reach tonight. Don't he just don't have the, the depth on Weather, the bench. Weatherill's a senior. Rebels missed two free throws on the other end, and Weatherill makes the free throw. It's one nothing Grand Canyon. John, you remember last year when when. Grand Canyon came in. They were a little shaken. Yeah. But tonight, they're, they're ready. Yeah, they are. Well, that's experience, Steve. He misses exactly. the second one. The Rebels run. Belfield quickly up ahead to Hawkins. Back to Oscar. Oscar uses Masamba top of the key. Bryce, one dribble, picks up the dribble, gives it to Wallace out top right side. Dave Rice calls out the play. Wallace down the right side. Bounce pass down low to Masamba. Masamba going to back in on that right side. Still back in. Jump stop. A little jumper from about four feet. Rolls out. No good. The rebound tipped and taken by... Grand Canyon, speed into the front court. Speed on the left side to Weatherill. Weatherill watched by Hawkins, who already has a foul. Fouls are going to be an absolute critical stat for the Rebels tonight. Now Mike Mosier steals the pass. Mosier all alone. Mosier slams. Up. That's what the length of Mosier brings you. He's a good defensive player. Played the passing lane well. Speed into the front court. Rebels lead 2-1. 18.30 to go here in the first half. Speed. Waiting for someone to get it to. It's going to be a five-second toss. Had to be five. They didn't call it. Gives it out top to Wesolowski. Wesolowski puts it on the floor, guarded by Masamba to Carroll. Watched by Belfield. Carroll gets stopped. Back to Speed. Speed backing away from Belfield. Speed down the lane. Speed all the way under. Puts it off the glass with the left-handed in. That's a nice play. Rebels a lot of penetration. 3-2 Grand Canyon. Now pass up ahead to Masamba. Masamba down the lane. Gets fouled. Makes the basket. A chance for a three-point play. A great look by Oscar Belfield to Masamba hustling down the floor. That's one of the keys. The big men have to run. They have to run. And, they, and, and, and once the Rebels get easy buckets like that, it's going to bring on a frenzy on that defensive end. Rebels lead 4-3 with the bucket by Bryce Masamba and a chance for a three-point play. Crowd buzzing on the dunk by Mosier, and now the hustle play by Masamba. Bryce, another short on Masamba, or Mosier able to grab the rebound. A three attempt by Belfield, no good. And the rebound taken by Carroll. Carroll quickly up ahead to Speed. Speed on the left side. Speed top of the key. Looks down low, loses the ball out of bounds, knocked out of bounds by either Mosier or Wallace. Didn't see who got a hand on it. And Grand Canyon's going to substitute. They will do this a lot. Yeah, and at the pace of the game right now, it's going to be interesting to see which Rebel or which Rebels come out first. Davis and Pickerel come in, a couple of forwards for Grand Canyon. Ball comes into Pickerel, gives it back to Carroll. 
Carroll with the long hair on the left side. Double team passes back to Carroll who runs over one of the Rebels. And are they going to call a block? It's got to be a charge. It well, was. They called a yeah. charge. Well, the, the ref on this side, I think his angle, he saw it. He, he was looking at a foul. I think he was going to call a block, but too. instead, it's a charge on Pickerel and a terrific defensive play by the Rebels down low. I think it was Belfield who picked up the charge there, and now Grand Canyon will pick up with some full court pressure, and the Rebels turn it over. Bad pass by Mosier, miscommunicating with Belfield. Yeah, Mosier threw it at his feet, uh, and, and Oscar really didn't make a break to get the ball. So Grand Canyon ball baseline left side, and the inbound pass knocked out of bounds by Mike Mosier. 17.50 to go first half. Rebels lead 4-3. to three. I like the energy of the Rebels yep. right now, but it's going to be interesting to see that, that if they get some uh, early fouls. Speed on the left side. Hawkins all over him, out top to Pickrell. Pickrell right side to Carroll, watched by Wallace. Carroll fires a three from that right side. In and out, no good. Rebound, loose ball picked up by Justin Hawkins. Hawkins into the front court to Belfield out top right side. The Rebels will set up against the man-to-man -man for Grand Canyon. Pass in the right corner to Mosier. He'll take the shot from that corner. It's off the mark. No good. Weatherill with the rebound to Speed. Speed flying into the front court. Stops. A three straightaway. Speed rolls out. No good. Rebound taken by Mosier. Rebels run the other way. Mosier front court. Mosier down the left side. Mosier cross court pass to Hawkins for three. Justin's three. Back iron no good. And a great job of blocking out. The rebound taken by Grand Canyon. Now to Speed. Speed to Pickrell. Pickrell shot from the elbow. Off balance is short, but Davis able to grab the rebound. Davis turns around, gives it back on the right side to Pickrell. He'll take a jumper there and he'll make it. And Grand Canyon back out in front, five to four. At this pace, the Rebels are really going to have to be careful because they're playing both ends of the court hard. Yeah. Well, that's what Dave Rice wants, but he wants to do it with more than seven guys. <laughs> Cross-court pass, Kendall Wallace. A three from the left side. Back iron, no good. Rebound, long rebound to Grand Canyon. Speed, hands it to Carroll. Carroll gets a pick out top, and a moving pick called on pick roll. His second foul, and the Rebels will get the ball back. It's great defense by Hawkins getting over that pick. Foreman and Garrison now check in for Witherell and Carroll, and Robbins checks in as well for Pickrell, who picked up two quick fouls. And John, you, I, I like the way the Rebels are running, but they, they don't have to take that quick shot. A couple of, couple of penetration moves or, or moving the ball a little more. I think they, they'll get, they'll get easier shots. Rebels break the pressure this time. Mosier quickly into the front court. Left side to Hawkins. Jayhawk a three from the corner. It's good! Hawkins hits the three. Rebels in front, seven to five. Picking up the pace. Speed front court. They'll give it to Foreman. Hawk, Mosier all over him. Now hits Garrison down the lane, but the Rebels do a nice job to cover him, and it's got to be a traveling call, or are they calling a foul? They're going to call a foul on the Rebels. Garrison really uh, moved quite a long distance without dribbling there, <laughs> but the foul on Masamba, his first, and that'll bring Quintrell Thomas off the bench. 16.09 to go here in the first half, and the Rebels lead 7-5. Are you saying he went on a trip and didn't take his luggage? Well, I, I'm, I'm saying he, he might have taken the ball with him, but it never touched the floor. <laughs> so Garrison at the line shooting two. Makes the first. And now Quintrell Thomas will check in for Bryce Masamba. Or is he going to check in for Jayhawk? Now he checks in for Masamba. Yeah, Jayhawk is getting is, 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 got something in his eye, so I think he's just getting it checked out. They'll give him time to do that. Rebels lead 7-6. to six. Jayhawk hit the 3 to put the Rebels out in front. And, uh, you know, in a game like this, any little breather is a help to the Rebels. Oh, yeah. And, and it's going to be important for the Rebels tonight to, when they do get tired not to try to stay in there and linger because uh, they'll hurt the team defensively. Second free throw, no good. Rebound tipped around a couple of times and the Rebels knock it out of bounds. Mike Mosier a little bit aggressive as he and Oscar Belfield were kind of battling for it and that'll be a, a little bit of a turnover. So Davis with the inbound pass, gives it out top to Speed. Watched by Hawkins, Speed down the right side. Now Mosier switches onto him. Speed on the baseline, comes back outside. Speed all the way out, cross court pass to Foreman. Foreman left alone for a two. It's going to be short, and the rebound taken by a flying Oscar Belfield. Belfield flying the other way into the front court. Belfield stops, passes down low to Quintrell Thomas. Thomas put the ball on the floor, and that's a mistake. Got bailed out by a foul. Quintrell's going to take that ball straight up in the air. But uh, he got bailed out, got grabbed on the... It's always a pleasure to be beside you. As the Rebels leading Grand Canyon 7-6, to six, 
And going to the line to shoot a couple of free throws, Quintrell Thomas. The transfer from the University of Kansas, who the Rebels are going to count on for his rebounding ability plus this year. And counting on him to stay out of foul trouble tonight. 15.46 to go in the first. Rebels lead 77 to 6. Thomas' first free throw, no good. The Rebels now 0 for 3 from the line. 1 for 5 from 3, 3 for 9 overall. The Bigs can't, can't make a free throw right now, and it's going to be very important for them to uh, capitalize on that tonight. Control second one, in and out, no good. So the Bigs can't make a free throw, and the Rebel lead is 1. Speed into the front court, the point guard for Grand Canyon, left-hander. Gives it left side to Foreman. Back out top, and the Rebels in a 2-3 zone right now. It's actually a 1-2-2. Two, two. It kind of drops back into a 2-3. Yeah. They've worked on this quite a bit. They're going to have to keep working on it. Bounce pass gets inside, gets out to Davis now. Davis fakes the shot, comes to the elbow, fires one up, almost an air ball, no good. And Mosier there for the rebound. Mosier front court to Belfield left side. Belfield left corner to Justin Hawkins, gets it down low to Quintrell Thomas. Thomas passes back out to Belfield. Belfield stops, a two from 17 feet, nice shot. Oscar Belfield in rhythm, 9-6 Rebels. Good ball movement on the offensive end. The Rebels can get a lot of easy buckets. Rebels stay in that 1-2-2, uh, two, two, if you will. Ball goes left side to speed. They were a little bit lost. Passes out top to Robbins at the foul line. Bad shot off the backboard. Loose ball rebound taken by Justin Hawkins. Two on two in the front court with Mosier now. Mosier at three from the left side. High arcing three is long. Yep. Didn't and quite get his feet set. Yeah, pulled the trigger a little quick there. 14.35 to go. Rebels lead nine to six. Now the Rebels go back to the man-to-man. -man. Speed gets it down low. Inside to Robbins. Robbins puts up a little jump hook from that right side, and he made it. So 9-8. to eight. And Dave Rice tells Mike Mosier, calm down. We want to play fast. We don't want to play out of control. Belfield in the front court on the right side. Gets a pick from Thomas. Oscar now to Kendall Wallace. Kendall Wallace, a fall-away jumper. The offensive rebound put up by Mike Mosier. Rolls out, of the, out around the rim and out. And speed with the rebound. 14 minutes to go, still 9-8 Rebels. Rebels a little bit cold right now. Kendall had a good look on that fall away. Davis has it and dribbles off his foot out of bounds. It'll be Rebel ball. And right now, John, a lot of times with Kendall just being in, you know, he's, he's going up, but he's fading on a lot of his shots. He's got to square up a little more. Well, the knee is not 100%, and yeah. I don't think it will be all year. Yeah, and, that, and, that, and that's, that, that can cause a big problem trying to get his feet set on the shot. Grand Canyon substitutes again. And a little full court zone pressure right now for the Antelopes. And a foul called on Johnson, <laughs> bumping Oscar Belfield in the backcourt. That's the sixth team foul on Grand Canyon. It'll be rubble ball out of bounds in the backcourt. Oscar did a little acting on that one to draw that foul, but it was smart. That's, that's a veteran play there. He's a senior. I cannot believe Oscar <laughs> Belfield's a senior. Never thought I'd see you. <laughs> Belfield front court to Kendall Wallace. Out top to Mosier. Left side to Hawkins. Hawkins looking for Belfield, and Oscar gets held down low by Garrison, and that's the seventh team foul. And the Rebels will go to the line to shoot the one and one, and they've got to make a free throw. They're over five from the line. And here comes Karam. The seventh scholarship player available. Karam is sure will check in for Justin Hawkins. Dave Rice, you know, Karam has gotten better, but he is still struggling to figure out where he's supposed to be, what he's supposed to do. Yep. And. Uh, Needs to understand who he's guarding and what he's doing out there. And Coach Rice using Karam in this game a lot as Belfield makes the free throw and the fans cheer as the Rebels make a foul shot to make it 10-8. He's going to use Karam to spell guys before media timeouts, giving Justin Hawkins, who has a foul, some time with 13.41 to go. So Justin will get a couple of minutes before the media timeout, hopefully. And, and, and one of the keys for Karam... Oscar makes a both, yeah. One of the keys for Karam is the defensive end, yep. being in position. And I, and just, no one where to go. Exactly. So into the front court comes Bradley Carroll, one of the starters back in the lineup for Grand Canyon. Picks up the dribble. Now he's in trouble. Carroll gets it. And now timeout called by Pennell. The head coach for Grand Canyon. And he's just, hot. He's <laughs> mad that uh, Carroll picked up the dribble in that case. In the man... They're, they're doing a lot. They're doing a lot of switching, so they're making sure no got nobody nobody the amoeba. So I'm pretty sure at some time this year they might even try the amoeba. What, uh, t t real quick, what's uh, the amoeba? I mean, describe it to us. The, the amoeba defense. It, it's a lot of movement from the guards and also the wings, but it's basically to take away the middle. Well, Grand Canyon with the ball, and the Rebels have only allowed penetration really one or two times to Grand Canyon. 13:25 to go, first half. Rebels lead 11 to eight. 
Into the front court. Foreman has it top of the key. Rebels back in that 1-2-2 zone. Now left side. The ball in the hands of Garrison. Garrison baseline gives it back to Wesanowski. Wesanowski has it stripped by Oscar Belfield. Belfield heads the other way to Wallace on the right side. Stops for three from the right side. And he hits it. Into Wallace with the fast break three. 14 to eight Rebels. And, and I don't know that he was really squared up on that. An offensive foul on Johnson. Great play by Belfield getting in position and drawing the charge. And this is the pace the Rebels want to play this year. And it's going to, I mean, they're doing a great job of it right now, but it's still going to take them some time to understand, for everybody to understand what, what it takes in this type of defense. Well, if, if Kendall Wallace hits fast break threes without a dribble like that on oh. one leg, <laughs> on they're going to the be okay for a while. <laughs> 14 to 8, 12 50 to go. Ball out top to Mosier. Now left side to Mashur. To Wallace on the left wing, watched by Carroll. Mosier trying to post up down low. Instead, Wallace will have to rotate it out top to Belfield. I'm sure kind of standing around. Now, it, Oscar Belfield tries a one-handed bounce pass down to Quintrell Thomas and got knocked away and stolen. Carroll front court. Carroll in the lane. Carroll stops. Bounce pass down low to Wesolowski. Back out to Carroll. Carroll working on Wallace. Carroll in the lane. Carroll stops. A floater from the right side is good. It rolled in off the front of the rim, and it's 14 to 10. I like, I like Carroll's play. He, I mean, he's a tough, tough little player. Ball left side to Wallace for three. Kendall's three is good again. Kendall starting to heat up. 17-10 Rebels. He's, as a starter, he's getting more time, so he, he's comfortable. Pass down low to Johnson. Johnson does a good job to penetrate, but a foul called on Quintrell Thomas. Thomas letting a much smaller man get position on him there. Yeah. Quintrell's got to fight harder on the block. Yeah, Johnson, he's tough when he gets down in that post. He knows how to use his body and, and seal, seal a guy, and he can, he can use that left or right hand in the post area. Chris Johnson at the line, shooting two. He missed it. I think Grand Canyon might have more lefties on the team than, than, <laughs> I, than a good bullpen. Exactly. And, you know, it's tough to play a lefty because when you're playing defense, you're used to righties, so you have a tendency to go the way of a righty. But a lefty is, is always, he gets you off balance. Both free throws are missed. And now they call a lane violation. Look around. They call a foul on Karab. Huh? Was it a lane violation or a foul? Must have been a lane violation. Right. So Karam in the lane too early, and Johnson will get an extra free throw. Hawkins has checked in for Mosier, giving Mike a couple of minutes extra, and now the foul shot is missed again, and Mashur with a rebound. Quickly to Belfield. Belfield front court, gets stopped, gives it out top to Mashur. Mashur with a lane down the right side and travels. Uh -huh. They're going to they're gonna bail him out. No, they're not. No, That's no. a travel all the way. Yeah, he, uh, I thought for a minute they were going to bail him out and call a foul. Yeah. But Karam traveled and a timeout on the floor. 11.54 to go here in the first half. Rebels 17, Grand Canyon 10. You're listening to Runner Rebel Basketball from IMG, on the Rebel IMG Sports Network. Quick, 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 quick. Clear. Thank you. Clear. And Mike are hot. Hey fans, remember tonight after the game you can feed your late night cravings at McDonald's. Most locations now open 24 hours. Plus you can now enjoy some of your breakfast favorites after midnight like a sausage with come with egg or hotcakes and sausage. Limited time offer. Participation may vary at McDonald's. John Taylor, Robert Smith with you. Courtside Thomas and Mack. 11.50 to go. Rebels lead 17-10 in the 1-2-2 zone against Grand Canyon who has the basketball. Carroll out top to Foreman. Left side Garrison. Left corner Speed who comes dribbling out top back to Carroll. Carroll tries to get at the foul line. Uh, Kendall Wallace got a hand on it. The ball to Mashur. Mashur front court. Gives it to Wallace on the wing to Belfield. Oscar's going to take the open three, and he'll hit it. And the Rebels hitting threes and have a 10-point lead. It's amazing when you hit a couple of shots what you comp how high your confidence goes. Quickly the other way. Grand Canyon, speed. Left side to Foreman. Goes baseline. Foreman in traffic and draws a foul. Foul, I believe, is going to be called on Quintrell Thomas, who picks up two very quickly. And Quintrell has to play smarter than that. Can't afford to get in, in foul trouble early. Dave Rice frustrated by the fact that Quintrell just picked up his second foul. All Quintrell has to do there is hold his ground. Just stand there. Hey, get in position, get your just hands up, make there. him shoot over. If, even if he scores, it's, it's good defense. It means Basamba will have to check in as the free throw is missed, and Grand Canyon... Their free throw shooting no better than the Rebels. They're two out of seven now. Rebels are also two out of seven. Well, John, you know that the kid Foreman at the line, he uh, he was he was here in school at, at the Impact Academy uh -huh. uh, and found his way over to Grand Canyon. 
makes the second one, so it's 20 to 11. Mike Mosier has checked in along with Masaba, Mashur, and Thomas go to the bench. Belfield, left side to Masamba. Masamba turns to face, tries to go baseline, gets bumped. Now tries to throw a cross-court pass, and that pass is blocked and taken away. Into the front court, Carroll. Carroll dribbling out top, working on Hawkins. Carroll spins at the elbow, right side to Foreman. Foreman goes baseline. Foreman throws it up, and that's got to be a charging foul on Foreman, and it is. Yeah, he was out of control. He beat. Nice job by Masamba to hold his ground. Exactly, exactly. And, and, that, and that's what we just talked about with Quintrell. Instead of trying to get there yep. and block the shot or get a steal, get your body in position and uh, with nothing else, make him, make, make him take a bad shot. Second foul on Foreman, the ninth on Grand Canyon. And Mike Mosier to trigger it in. He'll give it to Belfield, and Oscar will bring it up. Back to Mosier. Mosier into the front court, watched by Davis. He hands to Belfield. Rebels start the half-court offense. Out top, Mosier. Mosier, left side to Justin Hawkins. Hawkins on that left wing. Hawkins out top to Wallace. Wallace watched by Carroll. Kendall's made a couple of threes. He gives it to Belfield, who slipped coming off a pick. Now pass back to Kendall with 10 on the shot clock. To Hawkins to Belfield. Belfield right side. Oscar down the right side. Steps back. Passes down low to Masamba for a slam dunk. What a pass by Oscar Belfield. Just that little hesitation move settled the defense. Davis, a three from the left side is good. The Rebels <laughs> lost him. It's 22 to 14, you at LV. Grand Canyon's a good three-point shooting team. Yeah, and they, as soon as you score on them, they come right back at you. Halfway through the first half, Rebels lead 22 to 14 on opening night. Ball left side to Mosier. Goes left baseline. Underneath, lays it up short, but he got fouled. Got hit in the arm by Garrison, and Mike Mosier will go to the line and shoot two. Mosier, look, Mosier looked at the referee like, I don't, I don't shoot air balls from that close. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I don't know that you can say Mike's rusty, although I'm sure he is, uh -huh. because it's his first regular season game right, in, in right. really in two years. But I think Mike's trying to do too much, and he's nervous. Yeah. yeah, and, 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 you know, Naturally. Yeah. Like you say, but, you know, been out of, he hasn't been playing that long, and now you come back, and, and you're playing an up-tempo game, which, which some kids aren't used to. Rebels can't make a free throw. Two for eight from the line. Mike missed his first one. 22-14, 9.55 to go. Yeah, they just got to settle in on that line. Most your second one looks better, is better. 23-14, Rebel lead is nine. 9.50 to go, first half. Speed quickly into the front court. Speed, top of the key. Rebel switch, Mosier on speed. He's such a valuable player, he can guard a big, he can guard a little guy. Yeah. Left side to Carroll. Carroll on that left side, goes baseline. Carroll gets trapped in the corner and stepped on the end line. Masamba and Hawkins double teaming him in the corner. Really good defense by those two. Because of the pressure, Carroll got caught up in that corner and stepped out. So 9.35 to go, and the Rebel lead 23-14. As Belfield comes right side, gives it to Wallace, down low to Justin Hawkins. Hawkins thought about trying to cross-court pass to Mosier, instead to Wallace. Wallace to Belfield. Belfield back to Wallace. Wallace a three, out top right side, short. Mosier there for the slam dunk. He couldn't wait. He couldn't wait for that ball. He went up and got it. Only time all year he'll root for Kendall Wallace to miss. <laughs> Weatherill will try a three. It's an air ball, out of bounds to the Rebels. <laughs> Mike Mosier going. <laughs> Missed that one. I got a duck. Hey, he was so in position for that one. It was like, if it comes off, I got it. 25-14, Rebels, nine minutes to go first half. Belfield front court. Belfield cross court to Wallace. Right side, Hawkins. Hawkins picks up the drill back to Kendall. Back around to Belfield. Oscar will try a three from the right side. In and out, no good. Weatherill with the rebound. Weatherill, he double dribbled. <laughs> Weatherill double dribbled, and they didn't call it. Speed passes down low, ball knocked away. Davis picks it up. Fall away jumper from the baseline, no good. And the rebound to Masamba. Masamba to Belfield. And Dave Rice saying, run, Oscar. Oscar says, I'm tired, coach. <laughs> Left side, Wallace. Down low to Mosier on the left block. Mosier goes baseline and lost the ball out of bounds. No, he's able to recover. Gets it out to Wallace. Left side, Belfield. Back to Mosier. Back out to Belfield. Now to Masamba on the left block. Masamba in the lane. Jump hook from that spot. No good. Mosier back in with a slam dunk. No good. And then gets fouled. And they call it technical on Mike Mosier for grabbing the rim. Well, I, I think he, he had to grab it to control his, himself from coming down. He didn't want to fall. But I tell you what. You gotta love first. And with 8.19 to go, it'll be Weatherill going to the line to shoot the technical. And right now, 
now gave Rice an explanation as to why the technical was called. The basket is good. 25-15 Rebels with 8.19 to go in the first half. And Weatherill's second one is good. So 25-16. And now Grand Canyon gets the ball out of bounds. So tough break for the Rebels there. Yeah. Mosier called for the technical. Yeah. Got, a, got a possible three-point swing right here. It could be more than that. Oh, yeah. I mean, they made two free throws. So 25-16, nine-point Rebel lead with 8-10 to go here in the first half. Speed front court, right side to Weatherill. Almost threw it out of bounds. Now down low to Pickrell is in the game. Pickrell back to Carroll. Carroll, a three from the right side is good, and it's a five-point swing. Good. So 25-19, the Rebel lead was 11. It's now six. So just on, just on that, that uh, technical, yep. the game has changed right now. Rebels need to reclaim the momentum here. Bellfield in the front court, under eight to go, so we'll have a timeout at the next whistle. Oscar, top of the key, passes right corner to Hawkins. Hawkins a three from the right side. It's good! Justin hits his second three. What an answer. Back to a nine-point lead. Speed front court. Speed picks up the dribble, out top to Carroll, long way from the basket, gets a pick, stops, he'll try a very long three from that right side, it's short, but Pickrell just walks in for the rebound. Yeah. Nobody put a body up. Somebody, somebody missed a block out uh, uh, spot. Seven and a half to go, seven point Rebel lead, 28-21. Oscar Belfield out top. Belfield down the left side. Tough shot, no, he'll give it to Masamba on the left block. Masamba turns to face, goes baseline down low, forces his way in and lays it up in a nice move by Bryce. That was a great move by Bryce. I think he's got to use his body more though before he goes up. Carroll to the elbow, kicks it out to Speed. Speed, right side, Pickerel. He'll try a three from the right side, he'll hit it. And uh, Grand Canyon starting to heat up from outside. It's 30 to 24, back to a six point Rebel lead. And Dave Rice wants a timeout, give his guys a little bit of a rest. Yeah. He said on a pregame interview, we talked about it, he's going to have to use timeouts to give his guys a breather. Get timeout of the next whistle. The season opener, Rebels against Reno here on Monday night, a seven o'clock tip. Belfield brings it into the front court. Man-to-man -man defense for Grand Canyon. Bounce pass right side Masamba. Looking at Mosier, who's fronted, and said passes back out top to Belfield. Oscar back to Masamba down the lane. Masamba lays it up too hard, but he got fouled. Uh, Tough play. Two guys converging on him. Yeah. The foul is going to be called on Weatherill, his first. And Masamba, when we come back, will go to the line and shoot two. Timeout on the floor, 6.49 to go first half. Rebels 30, Grand Canyon 24. You listen to Runner Rebel Basketball on the Rebel IMG Sports Network. Hey, Rebel fans, John Sandler. Clear. The Rebels here talking about the sport play. The way you play to get the haircut and more. Five point, five nothing run as a result. Two free throws in the three. Have allowed Grand Canyon to get back in this game. Bryce Masamba, who's playing a terrific ball game at the line shooting two. Bryce missed his first two free throw attempts tonight. You got to love. First three, sorry. Oh, you got to love what Bryce is doing on the defensive end. He's getting in position, not getting caught up, you know, off balance. And, it, and he's making it hard for uh, Grand Canyon to score underneath. And now on the offensive end, he's getting to the basket, and now he has to finish. Masamba throws one up there that crawls over the rim and in. This one will be perfect. Now it hit the rim <laughs> nine times, but it went in. So Bryce makes them both. It's 32-24, Rebels. 6.45 to go first half. 1-2-2 two, two zone for the Rebels. Speed to Davis out top. Now top of the key, Weatherill. Right side, or left side speed. Back to Carroll. Carroll right side Weatherill. Good ball movement. Rebels try to double him. They can't. Back out top to Speed. Right side Davis. Davis goes baseline. Davis passes to Weatherill. Passes out top to Carroll. Ball deflected in the backcourt. Carroll gets it back and gets it to Weatherill. Weatherill to Speed. Speed will try a three from the left side and he'll hit it. Kyle Speed is a tough, tough player. So starting to hit their threes with regularity and Grand Canyon within five. It's 32-27 with 6.05 to go. Belfield out top for the Rebels. Belfield in the lane. Kicks it right side to Wallace. Wallace penetrates. Lobs down low Masamba. Masamba catches, puts it up, and missed the layup. <laughs> now Speed almost has it taken away by Hawkins into the front court. Speed to Davis. Davis right side Carroll. Fakes the three. Comes dribbling out top. Bounce pass right side to Pickerel. Pickerel a two from that right side. No good. Mosier with the rebound. Mosier. Long pass up ahead to Hawkins. Hawkins will wait. Hawkins. Cross-court pass to Wallace. Wallace a three from the right side. Back iron, no good. Masamba got pushed. No <laughs> whistle. And Weatherill with a rebound. Weatherill hands the ball to Speed. And Rebels stay in that zone. 1-2-2 two, two with Belfield out top. Davis has the ball. Now to the foul line, Pickerel. Pickerel, left side to Speed. Out to Carroll. 
Carroll back left side to Speed. Speed out top, Weatherill to Davis. Davis makes a fake, shoots a three, and he hits a three. And Grand Canyon has hit five of their last six threes. Oh, yeah, they, they can shoot the ball, and they move the ball well offensively. 32-30, to 30, the Rebel lead is two. Belfield with five to go. Stops at the foul line. Oscar backs away from Weatherill. Dave Rice calls out the play under five to go. 32-30. Belfield out top left side. Comes top of the key. Oscar. Tries to go right side, kicks it to Wallace. Right corner to Mosier. Mosier penetrates. Mosier stops. 16-foot fall away is long. Masamba able to control the rebound. Fires it out to Kendall Wallace. Nice job by Bryce. Fresh 35, and the Rebels will reset. Wallace left side to Hawkins. Hawkins out top, Mosier. To Belfield, to Kendall Wallace. Wallace hounded by Bradley Carroll. Lob down low, Masamba. Masamba to Hawkins. Hawkins lays it up in a great look by Masamba, seeing Hawkins all alone down low. That's a great offensive sequence. Rebel lead is four. Davis right side to Witherill. Witherill down low to Pickerel. Out top, Carroll. Carroll fakes the pass, now gets it inside to Davis. Davis steps through and gets bumped by Masamba. No basket, but uh, Masamba picks up his second. And it will be Davis going to the line to shoot two. 34-30 Rebels, 4.03 to go here in the first half. And I, I thought I thought Bryce played that as well as he could. Yeah, when that when the entry pass got in there. Right. And, and then, and, you know, he's going against a smaller guy who's a little quicker. Davis makes the free throw. Bryce Masamba is going to get a, a rest with 4.03 to go. Karam Mashur will check in. I tell you what, when you, you, look at, you look at Grand Canyon, only on paper are they Division II. Yeah. Because they, they don't play like a Division II team. They're now, they're now five out of nine from three. They've hit five of their last six. And, John, you know, you know they're picked to take second in their conference yeah. this year. Now they're an experienced club. Both free throws are good by Davis. And he'll take a seat on the bench as Johnson checks back in. The Rebels right now will play Karam Mashur at the five. <laughs> We'll have a timeout at the next whistle as Belfield brings it up. Rebel lead is two. Oscar into the front court. Gives the ball out top to Mosier. Mosier left side to Hawkins. Justin holding on that left wing. Cross court to Kendall Wallace. Almost knocked away by Carroll. <laughs> Down low to Belfield. 18-foot jumper right side. Oscar in and out. No good. Rebels have gone cold. And Carroll with the basketball. Into the front court quickly. Carroll down the right side. Carroll bounce pass right side to Johnson. Out to Garrison. Garrison. All the way around to Fetters. Now to Carroll for a three from the left side. No good. Long rebound to Belfield. Pass up ahead to Mosier. Mosier has it go off his hands out of bounds. And a timeout on the floor. So a little bit too long maybe. Belfield with that pass to Mike. And Mike is head down. Knows he probably should have been able to control it. 3.29 to go first half. Rebels lead just west of Decatur. That's Finley here. John Sandler, Robert Smith with you courtside here at the Thomas & Max. Some outstanding three-point shooting by Grand Canyon. Has gotten back at this game as they... Uh, Made five of their last seven, and they trail by two, 34-32. Rebels, at one point, led this game by 11, 21-10. But uh, Grand Canyon has cut the lead to two, 34-32, with 3.29 to go here in the first half. And a couple of Rebels already with two fouls. Quintrell Thomas back on the floor playing with two. Masamba's got two as well. The two bigs, the only two the Rebels really have available. In the front court. Garrison to Carroll, works it around to Speed on the right side. Speed watched by Mosier, down low to Garrison, or check that. As the ball's knocked away by Mosier, picked up by Quintrell Thomas. Thomas gives it back to Mosier. Mosier top of the key, Mosier 16-foot jumper, nice shot by Mike Mosier. That should get him going. Under control and ready to go. Great job there by Mosier knocking the ball away from Robbins, who's checked back in the game. 36-32, under three to go. Speed on the left side. Stops, picks up the dribble, gives the ball to Johnson. Chris Johnson backing in left side, turns, tries to shoot over Mosier. Mosier blocks it, deflects it, and the ball taken away by Quintrell Thomas. <laughs> Thomas to Belfield. <laughs> Belfield front court. Mosier's so long, it, it, it's difficult for guys to get over him. Ball now left side to Oscar Belfield. Out top to Wallace. Wallace a three straight away. Kendall kind of short-armed that one. Yeah, Speed got the rebound. Up ahead to Carroll. Carroll right side. Carroll goes baseline. Carroll all the way, lays it up and in. Nobody stopped him. I like this kid, Carroll, man. He can handle the ball. He, shoot, he shoots threes. You know, he does a lot of things for, for a Grand Canyon. 
2.05 to go, lead back to two, 36-34. Pass up ahead to Mosier, bad pass, and it's stolen by Garrison, and Garrison's going to tie the game with a dunk. Now he missed the dunk, but Carroll has the rebound, and he lays it in. No Rebel hustle back, and Dave Rice not happy about that. We're tied at 36 with a minute 50 to go. Yeah, that was a long lob pass uh, across court, and, and the defense, I mean, any defense easy, will yeah. go for that. Belfield with the ball, tied with a minute 40 to go. Left corner, Hawkins doesn't take the three. Instead, Justin penetrates. Tough fall away is short. Rebound to Robbins. Grand Canyon can take the lead. We're tied at 36, a minute and a half to go. Carroll, right side to Garrison. Down low to Johnson. Johnson, cross-court pass to Speed. Hawkins thought about putting his hand out, couldn't get it. Speed shoots over Quintrell Thomas. It's long, and the rebound high in the air taken by Moser. Nice job by Mike. Tell you what, Moser plays a lot bigger than what he is. Terrific rebound by Moser. Right. Minute 10 to go. Tied at 36. Belfield with the ball out top. Right side to Hawkins. Rebels standing around a little bit. Pass down low to Thomas. Thomas goes up strong and gets fouled. Nice job by Quintrell. Yeah. Got fouled by Johnson. It's exactly what he should do. Didn't put the ball on the floor. Just went right to the rim. I tell you what, if Quintrell, if, if, if he gets low on that, he's so explosive, he could have finished that a lot quicker. So a minute two to go, and Quintrell Thomas at the line shooting two. The foul was on Johnson, his third. Rebels a tired team here at the end of the first half. Thomas makes the free throw. 37-36. Rebels, they need that inside play from Quintrell and uh, Bryce tonight. Mashur is going to check in, I believe, for Quintrell, who's got two fouls. Quintrell missed the second free throw, so that eliminates that plan. He kind of stepped away from yeah. it as he, was, as he was shooting it. So speed into the front court. Under a minute to play in the first half. Rebels up one. This is a tired Rebel team. I mean, you can't blame them. It's really, it's really four guys who played almost the entire way. Right. Ball down low to Robbins. Robbins shoots over Thomas off the glass and in, and it's 38-37. And uh, now the Rebels, I believe, can play for the last shot. Yes, they will. Yeah. Be smart, move the ball. Get some penetration. 38-37. As Belfield into the front court, and Oscar will dribble out there a little bit and run some time. About a half second different shot clock and game clock. Under 20 seconds to go now. Now 15, now 14. Rebels down one, trying to get a bucket to end the first half and reclaim the lead. Now 10. Oscar's got to go. Waits for a pick. Comes down the right side. Oscar stops. Comes left side. Gives it to Moser. Moser fakes the three. Now he'll take a jumper. High arcing shot is good. It's a two. And the Rebels do reclaim the lead on the jump shot by Mike Moser at the end of the first half. You know, Robert, it is a Rebel team that just ran out of gas in the last four or five minutes and a half. And that allowed 8,500. Well, can I get the John Sandler special? You can. Anybody can. <laughs> All right. It'll be Grand Canyon Bowl to start this second half. Rebels on the floor. Masamba, Mosier, Belfield, Hawkins, and Wallace, the starting five. That's about all I got. <laughs> and Grand Canyon with its starting five as well. Actually, Davis is in there. And he gives it to Speed, and Speed into the front court against Judson Hawkins. Right side to Weselowski. Weselowski stops looking back door to Carroll. Instead, out top, Weatherill. Left side, Davis. Watched by Mosier. Goes baseline. Davis on the baseline, passes on the baseline, it gets out to Weatherill, Weatherill out top to Carroll, and Justin Hawkins went for a steal and just lost his balance and kind of bumped into him and picks up his second foul. And then once again, position defense is very important right now. Now it's not about the gamble, it's about staying in front of the guy, the offensive man and not giving up any fouls. Rebels lead by one, first possession of the second half. Davis with the ball for Grand Canyon, out top to Speed, right side to Carroll. Carroll watched by Belfield. Carroll gets a pick, comes top of the key. Stops, gives it back right side. Weatherill open for three from that right side. Off the mark, no good. Justin Hawkins high in the air for the rebound. Hawkins front court to Belfield left side. Belfield out top to Masamba. Right side to Hawkins. Justin looking at Masamba posting up. Instead backs out, gives it out top to Belfield. And Dave Bryce calls out the play. Rebels with a chance to extend their one-point halftime lead. Belfield down the right side. Stops, 17-foot jumper from the elbow. Back iron, no good. Long rebound to Davis. I noticed uh, Oscar on, on those shots coming off that pick and roll. He kind of fades back on the shot instead of stepping into it. Carroll, a little waiting for a pick, goes right side on Kendall Wallace, stops, passes out top to Weselowski to Weatherill. Weatherill top of the key, right side Carroll, a long three for Carroll, back iron no good, long rebound controlled by Davis. 
Yep. Davis on the left wing. Down low to Weselowski, posting up a Masamba. Cross court to Wetherill. Wetherill in the lane. Wetherill to Carroll for three from the left side. It's short, and Masamba grabs the rebound. He gives it to Belfield. Belfield left side, Mosier. Mosier flying down the left side, gets fouled, uh, lays it up and in. Basket counts. Mike Mosier a chance for a three-point play. Once again, there's the length of Mosier getting to the basket. And it, it seemed like he was too far off to throw a finger roll up there. But he's long. He's so long, he got that arm to go. And he gets a possible three-point play here. Mosier at the line. Mike's free throw is good. Three-point play, and the Rebel lead is four, 42-38. Mosier now with a double-double in the game. Unofficially 12 points, 10 rebounds. Speed out top. Man-to-man -to -man for the Rebels right now. Gives it to Wetherill. Wetherill gets the ball to Weselowski. Down low to Davis, working on Hawkins. Throws up a tough shot, gets his own rebound, puts it off the glass. Too strong, no good, and now a foul underneath. Davis getting too many opportunities. The foul is going to be called on Mosier. It's his first. Now, I guess the technical in the first half did not count as a personal foul. Huh. So Mike gets his first personal well, there. Don't, don't remind the scorers. No, I just, <laughs> I, okay. But, but I won't say another word about it. <laughs> right now, though, John, the Rebels cannot afford to give up second and third chances on the, on, on the defensive board. They... Uh, and, and that's where Grand Canyon is really taking advantage of uh, uh, the Rebels right now is on that, on that offensive board. 18.06 to go second half. Rebels lead by four, 42-38. Davis missed the first one. Second free throw, also no good, and Mosier grabs the rebound. Mike gives the ball to Belfield, and Oscar into the front court. Right side to Wallace, back to Belfield. Belfield gets a pick, comes top of the key. Now down the left side, pass down low to Masamba. Great pass, Masamba lays it up and in. Belfield and Masamba working well together. You know what I liked about that play? Masamba did not put the ball on the floor. He just caught it and went up knowing that the defense was coming. Weselowski down the right side. Weselowski runs right in to Bryce Masamba. They're going to call a block on Masamba. Wow, that's number three. That's not a very good call, and it's an especially tough call for the Rebels because Bryce is playing so well. Man, that... Picking up his third wow. right there is tough and, and early in the second half. All right, Bryce is playing brilliantly and comes over to coach and says, my fault. It was a close call. Yeah, great, a great, great defensive position, but maybe the ref's angle was, was uh, on the other side and didn't see it. Inbounds pass to Weselowski. Rebels got away with one there, and the loose ball off the rebound comes to Mosier. Mosier front court. Mosier down the lane. Mosier lays it up. No good. And a blocking foul as Mike goes flying into one of the Grand Canyon players is speed, and the foul is going to be on speed. I think that's the rule. Was speed all the way down low under the, in the circle yeah, there? Yeah. He, I think he was. Yeah, he was too low, too low to take the charge. Oh, no. The official saying he slid over. Oh. That might be a little makeup call on the Masamba <laughs> call, too. Well, th I mean, it was a good, it was a good call for the Rebels because if not, that's Mosier's second. Exactly. 44-38, six-point Rebel lead. 17-32 to go here in the first half or second half. Pardon me. And Mosier at the line shooting two. Mike makes the first one. 45-30. And if I'm not mistaken, Mike oh, Masamba has a bucket, but Mosier's got the other four points for the Rebels here in the second half. John, you know what I like about Dave is he, he goes over to the ref and he's asking him about the, uh, the foul on yep. Bryce down at the other end. But the way he does it, you know, he just, he's not showing the ref up. Foreman in the game has the ball left side. Mosier missed the second free throw, so it's a seven-point Rebel lead, 45-38. Speed with the ball out top right side. Belfield watching him. He gets a pick. Oscar fights through it. Now speed back the right side. Good pass down low on the baseline to Garrison, who got away from Thomas. Nice little give and go there. And the ball laid up and in by Garrison to make it 45-40. Mosier gives the ball to Wallace. Five-point Rebel lead, 17 to go. Ball out top to Belfield. Belfield looking for Justin Hawkins. Sees him down low. Great pass. Hawkins hesitates. Lays it up. No good. Thomas gets the rebound. Quintrell goes up. Oh. Makes the basket. And a free throw coming up for Quintrell. Chance for a three-point play. Thomas using his muscle. Great second effort by Quintrell to go after that ball. And you got to like the back door by Justin to, 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 to really move the defense. And when he took put took the ball up, Quintrell was right there to get it. and uh, Justin just waited too long to yeah, get the ball no, up because Oscar well, hit him with a great pass. Yeah, if he would have just used his momentum to yep. take that ball up, he probably would have had an easy layup. 
Thomas's free throw is good. So 48 to 40. The Rebels have started this second half on a 9 to 1 or 10 to 1 run. Or check that, 9 to 2 run. Speed with the ball out top. 9 to 2 run for the Rebels here in the second half. 16 40 to go, 8 point Rebel lead. Ball out top speed. Left side Foreman. Foreman out top to Garrison. Right side speed. Good ball movement. Down low to Pickrell. Backing in on Thomas. Fall away. Left handed shot rolls in. That's a tough shot. Hey. Very tough. Fall away left-hander. And a nice job by Thomas. Played good defense, did not foul. Good position defense. Six-point Rebel lead, 16-20 to go. Belfield out top. Belfield gets it down low to Thomas. Thomas in traffic, puts it up, no good. Rebound tip taken by Pickerel. Triple team for Quintrell there. <laughs> Speed front court. Speed comes left side. Gets it down low to Pickerel, lays it up and in. Thomas didn't get back on defense. Nice, nice uh, ball movement by Grand Canyon. So Grand Canyon cuts the lead in half, 48-44. We'll have a timeout at the next whistle. Under 16 to go. Ball right side to Thomas. Now to Mosier on the block, out to Belfield. Oscar for three. Oscar's three too long. Thomas with the rebound. Quintrell goes up, lays it in. Great job by Quintrell on the offensive glass. And Quintrell used the basket to, to, to shield the defender, move to the other side, and finish. Ball down low, Pickrell on the right side. Out top to Carroll. Carroll working on Hawkins, spins in the lane. Tough shot with a right hand off the back iron, no good. Mosier with another rebound. Mike Mosier to Belfield, Rebel lead is six. Oscar stops, cross court pass to Hawkins from the left corner for three. Justin Hawkins hits the three! Now, John, I think you're gonna see a lot of that from Justin this year, because you know last year he didn't do a lot of three point shooting, but I think with this offense, you'll see a lot more from him. Oscar Belfield playing hurt. His right leg is bothering his knee. Might have banged his knee there, and he's hurt. Carroll gets fouled by Mosier, and that'll be a timeout on the floor. Rebels on the three by Hawkins have built a nine-point lead, and we'll see about Belfield. Oscar walking okay, but he's grimacing a little bit as he comes to the bench. 15 to go here in the second half. Rebels 3-44. Rebels lead. 15 minutes to go in the second half. Karab Mashur has checked in for Oscar Belfield. Belfield's going to get a bit of a breather, and we'll see how that knee is. Oscar is going to go get uh, stretched out down on the far end of the bench. So Karab Mashur going to be forced to play some more minutes. Grand Canyon ball after the foul on Mosier. The ball will be thrown in the backcourt, and Speed will bring it up. Speed in the front court, watched by Hawkins. Speed dribbling out on the V of UNLV. Now left side to Davis. Davis with Mashur on him, backs away. Passes down low to Pickrell. Pickrell in the lane. Pickrell puts up a shot off the glass and in. Boy, that's a tough shot. Bank shot from about four feet over the defenders. I tell you what, when you look at points in the paint, uh, Grand Canyon, they're scoring in that, in that paint a lot. Well, part of that's because Quintrell Thomas doesn't want to pick up another foul. Right. Hawkins running the point right now with Marshall suspended and Belfield on the bench. Rebel lead is 7, 53-46. Hawkins down the right side. Hawkins, bounce pass down low to Thomas. Thomas fakes the shot, back out to Hawkins. Hawkins gets inside, stops, 16-foot jumper from the elbow. Rolls out, and rolls back in. Nice shot by Justin Hawkins. That's, that's what you call a soft touch there. Speed quickly into the front court, approaching the 14-minute mark. Speed, top of the key, throws it away. Kendall Wallace upset with himself. He wasn't in the right spot on the last offensive series. But he, but he, he defensively, he was in the right position. Played good, good, uh, a solid uh, defense, and made Grand Canyon turn the ball over. They're going to try to fight Kendall right here. You know that. Yeah. Under 14 to go. Rebel lead 55-46. Justin Hawkins down the right side. Justin trying to get it to Wallace. Instead, gets it down low. To Thomas. Back to Justin on the give and go. Layup no good in traffic. Rebound taken by Mosier. Great job by Mike. Out to Wallace out top. Mosier out top left side. Mosier penetrates. Mosier bounce pass to Mashur. Mashur tries to dunk. It's short. And the rebound goes to Grand Canyon. Garrison front court. Garrison left side. Garrison throws up a wild shot. No good. Three Rebels there, but Johnson comes away with it. He puts up a shot off the glass. No good. And now a foul is going to be called on Garrison for throwing Mosier to the deck. Yeah. Fourth team foul on Grand Canyon. It's a great defensive stance by the Rebels right there. Belfield will check back in. Kendall Wallace will get a little bit of a rest. Rebels, I mean, Justin Hawkins is playing a great game, but they need Oscar Belfield in there. Right, right. And, but, I mean, Justin, he did a great job in that last uh, uh, couple of minutes uh, playing the point. 
But now it's going to be interesting to see how, how they handle it going down the stretch. Justin still playing the part right now. They're yeah. going to have Belfield play the two. Hawkins into the front court. Hawkins out top to Belfield. Oscar waiting for a pick from Thomas. Gives it left side to Mosier. Mosier open for three. Takes the three. It's way too long. And the rebound to Weatherup. In the front court, Davis. Davis penetrates. Davis throws up with a left hand, and it's good, and he's fouled. There was a great peck pick set inside on uh, Quintrell Thomas there. Yeah. And I think Karam Mashur is the fifth team foul on the Rebels. The foul, no, the foul was on Quintrell, his Whoa. third. So that's three on Quintrell and three on Masamba. Yeah, that hurts the Rebels right there. Now they got to play. They got to play uh, pity pat with yep. the bigs down the stretch. Davis makes the free throw, the three-point play to cut the lead to six, 55-49. This is where the Rebels need to maintain control of this game. Grand Canyon knows how shorthanded they are and oh, knows yeah. how tired they got in the first half. And, 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 and Grand Canyon does a great job of getting to the basket and finishing. So Belfield will bring it up. Under 13 to go. Rebels lead 55-49. Oscar directing traffic. Oscar gets the ball down low to Masamba, who's checked in. Right side to Mosier. Mosier, baseline jumper. High arcing shot is good. Nice shot by Mike for about 15 feet, 57-49. Nice control. Carroll front court. Left side to Johnson. Johnson down low. Now out to Davis. Davis in the lane. Davis tries to pass down low. It's knocked away. Stolen. Justin Hawkins with it. One on one. Justin down the lane. Justin lays it up and in. Nice job by Hawkins. Ten point Rebel lead. Nice under control break by Justin. Finishes well. Carroll into the front court. Carroll stops. Right side Johnson. Johnson penetrates. Runs into Masamba. An offensive foul. On Johnson, nice job by Bryce, even with three fouls to take the charge there. Smart play. Dave Rice always talks about Bryce's basketball IQ. You right. saw an example right. there. And, 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 and I'm sure Coach was kind of wincing on that, knowing that Bryce was under there, but he did a great job by being in position and taking the charge. Carroll comes out. And the Rebels with the ball with 12.05 to go here in the first half. Leading by 10, 59, 49. Got to keep the pressure on. Got to keep their energy level up. Belfield down the right side. Oscar all the way under. Lays it up with one hand and in. Nice little scoop shot. A nice pick by Masamba. And, and, and now Justin Hawkins steals the ball. Oh, he was on the sideline. Saw Belfield threw it back over his head to Oscar. But a great job by the Rebels there to open this game up a little bit. 12 points with 11.50 to go. And Oscar still, he's still hurt. Yeah, you can that see it bothering. in the Florida Gulf Coast, he's 73-72. Colorado State winning 64-58 over Montana. New Mexico, no trouble with New Orleans. They win that one 92-40. Army trailing now Air Force, 69-62. That one in the second half. John? All right, thanks, Mike. Here, the Rebels lead by 12. Biggest lead of the game, 61-49. Speed with the ball, gives it to Foreman. Foreman penetrates. Foreman in the lane. He gets fouled. Do they call it on Masamba or Mashur? Mashur. It's got to be Mashur. Yep, they called it on Karam Mashur. Dave Rice can have his heart start again. <laughs> Mashur is first, yeah. and Formal will go to the line and shoot two. And John, there, there you know, you, go, you, you look at uh, Mashur there. If he steps over, he's, he's following his man defensively. If he steps over and cuts that man off, make him give the ball up, then he don't get that foul. Kendall Wallace will check in for Karam. He just hasn't been able to, to comprehend the nuances of the game. That's the only way to say it. Foreman makes them both, so it's back to a 10-point Rebel lead. And full court pressure again for Grand Canyon as Justin Hawkins will bring it up. They're trying to keep Oscar Belfield from having to the ball too much because his leg is bothering him. Hawkins picks up the dribble on the far sideline. Now he's in a little trouble. Gets it to Belfield out there. Belfield dribbling out top. 11.20 to go. Rebel lead is 10. Oscar stops. Oscar open for three. Oscar's three is good. Uh, nice shot by Belfield. Uh, Hampered by a bad leg, and the Rebels lead by 13. 11-11 11, 11 to go here on 11-11-11. Carroll, left corner to Speed. Speed, back out top to Wesolowski, who traveled. They didn't call it. Gives the ball to Foreman. Foreman, left side to Speed. 16-foot jumper from out there. No good. Rebound tipped up and controlled by Mike Mosier. Mosier pushes it ahead. Mosier's down the right side. Mosier out of control. Got tripped by Carroll. 
Mike had Kendall Wallace open, then he added him open again, then he had him open again. <laughs> Everybody on the Rebel bench saying, Mike, throw it to Kendall. Give it to him. But uh, Carol, Carol didn't, didn't understand that Mike was off balance. All he had to do was get his hands up, and he bailed him out with the foul. But you're right, John. When Kendall's open, you got to get him that ball. Moser shooting two. First one in and out, no good. 64-51 Rebels with 10.50 to go. And I don't know that there's been a game in his life that Dave Rice would see would like to see get over faster than this one right now. <laughs> Both his big men with three fouls. As Moser makes the second one, Masamba is playing with three fouls. I think Moser's got three fouls. There are only two on the board, but that technical, I think, counts as a personal foul. Yeah. Carroll with the ball out top. 10.40 to go. Rebels up by 14, 65-41. Carroll working on Mosier. Shoots over him from the top of the key. Off the back iron, no good. Mosier will take that rebound. He'll give it to Belfield, and the Rebels will bring it up. Oscar with Foreman on him. Waits for a pick. Osama gives it to him. Now pass down low to Bryce. Bryce able to make the catch, but the shot blocked by Robbins from behind. Nice play. And the ball to Carroll. Carroll front court. Carroll down the left side. Carroll has the ball knocked out of his hands. It's stolen by Kendall Wallace. What a play by Kendall. Great defense by Kendall, just staying in front of the man, making him make a move, and then beating him to it. Halfway through the second half, and the Rebel lead is 14. Belfield dribbling out top. Oscar gives the ball to Wallace. Wallace for three from the right side. Gets landed on a no call. What a terrible call. Now the Rebels steal the ball in the front in the back quarter. In the front court, I should say. Justin Hawkins controls. Gives it to Belfield. Eight on the shot clock. Hawkins drives. Hawkins all the way under. Puts it up. No good. He got banged. And a foul is going to be called on Grand Canyon. Yeah. I, I mean, Kendall Wallace got landed. And I don't <laughs> care if the shot went in the stands. He got to call that. Yep. He, uh, he, he, the ref's got to see that. He's right there. Got to see it. it. Kendall <laughs> and the guy were lying at his feet. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Before Kendall even fell, he was looking at the ref like, can I get one? <laughs> That's not a foul. That's a personal foul in football. <laughs> That's head-to-head -head contact, helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact. <laughs> That's a fine. 65-51, <laughs> 9.42 to go. And Justin Hawkins at the line shooting, too. I like the way Justin is really attacking the basket. Yeah, he's being patient. You know, he's letting the game come to him. Justin misses the free throw. The Rebels are just 10 out of 20 from the line. Man, hey. Got to capitalize on those free throws, especially in a game like this. You know, Grand Canyon's hanging around. These free throws can put them, put them out of it. Yeah, if the Rebels done a better job from the line, this, this would be uh, <laughs> a little bit more comfortable, certainly. <laughs> 9.42 to go, 65-51. Hawkins' second free throw coming up. Rebels with three players now in double figure. As Justin makes the second one, Belfield, Masamba, and or now four players. Hawkins has 15. That's got to be a career high. We'll double check yeah. it. And the Rebel lead is 15, 66-51 with 9.35 to go. Ball right side to Foreman. Foreman, top of the key, Robbins, down low to Pickerel. Pickerel, nice move over Mashur off the glass and in, banks it in. Grand Canyon is very patient at getting the ball inside, and they do well when they get it inside. 9.15 to go, Belfield dribbling out top. Oscar left side to Wallace. Wallace for three from that left side, off the mark, no good. Loose ball rebound taken by Speed. Speed in the front court. Speed throws the ball off of Justin Hawkins' hand out of bounds. Tell you what, Ju Justin plays that ball well. At, well you know, he, he reads a guy's eyes very well. Hawkins' career high was 13, so unofficially a new career high for Justin. All right. Approaching the nine-minute mark. Rebels up 66-53. This is where they got tired in the first half. They had an 11-point lead with 10 to go in the first, and Grand Canyon was able to come back. Justin Hawkins steals a pass from speed. Went high in the air to tip it down and to tip it to himself. Belfield's hurt. Oscar is playing on a yeah. bad leg right now. Yeah, he can't, he can't go 100% right now. Ball to Wallace. Out top, Mashure. Left side, Hawkins. Back to Belfield on that left side. Now out top to Justin Hawkins. Hawkins backing it away with eight and a half to go and 12 on the shot clock. Hawkins right side. Justin stops from the right side. Shot for Justin from 18 feet is good. Justin feeling it. And the Rebel lead is 15. As good a game as Justin Hawkins has played in his Rebel career. With a lot of minutes to go. Absolutely. Right side Garrison. Garrison back to Weselowski. Fakes Mashur out of position. Masama comes over to help, and then Karam steals it. Pass up to Hawkins. Hawkins down the left side. Justin lays it up and in. 
Timeout Grand Canyon, 8.02 to go, and the Rebel lead is 17. Justin Hawkins putting on a show. Justin's the key tonight. He's, he's doing it all at both ends. Timeout on the floor, 8.02 to go, second half. Rebel 70, Grand Canyon 53. You're listening to Runner Rebel Basketball on the Rebel IMG Sports Network. Clear. Thank you. Stand by. Mics are hot. A fan score big. A glass of fresh, delicious Anderson Dairy milk provides seven, seven essential nutrients for a strong, healthy body. Be a sport, drink your milk. Anderson Dairy, the dairy expert since 1907. All right, Robert, we have clarification on why uh, Mike Mosier doesn't have an additional foul. Mike's got, uh, he's got two. Right. The technical is a... I've never heard of this before. Is a Category B or Class B technical for hanging on the rim. It does not count as a personal foul. Oh, okay. All right. So we learned something new tonight. Good. Foreman with the ball front court. Under eight to go. Rebels lead 70 to 53. The pick roll out top Carroll. Right side to Weselowski. Right wing Garrison. Garrison back to Weselowski. Right baseline. Lost the ball going up and loses it out of bounds. And Grand Canyon, all of a sudden, starting to fall apart. Yeah. Timeout on the floor. Now we have the media timeout. 7:37 to go. Oscar Belfield in his ho and hobbling will lead his teammates to the bench as the Rebels lead 70 to 53. You're listening to Run Rebel. Mike are hot. Hey fans, remember that UNLV and IMG College would like to thank Superpod for powering the Rebel Reading Challenge. Superpod, a proud supporter of UNLV and the Las Vegas community. And every day, your car takes care of you. Take care of it. Chevron with Techron care for your car. John Sandler, Robert Smith with you. Dave Rice breathing a little bit easier. His uh, tired and, and banged up club done a great job here in the second half, outscoring Grand Canyon 31-15 to and leading 70-53 to with 7.37 to go. I'll tell you what, if the Rebels keep this up, we may be able to see some of the bench players come in and get, get a few minutes. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> see how the next few minutes go. A tired team can get caught on, caught up on in a hurry, especially by a good three-point shooting team the way Grand Canyon is. Rebels with the ball. Oscar Belfield out top. Looking for Wallace on the right wing. Kendall comes to get it. Now down low to Mosier. Mosier on that right baseline. Crossbar pass to Hawkins. Hawkins shoots a three from the right side. It's long. And the rebound taken by Pickerel. Into the front court. Carroll. Carroll stops. Hands the ball to Foreman. Foreman comes out top. Skids to a halt. Back to Carroll. Now down low to Pickerel, who's been good here in the second half. Right-handed shot, falling away from 17 feet. Tough shot. Pickerel's a tough player. That, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> 70 to 55, 650 to go. Run, clock, run. Ball right side, Mosier. Mosier goes right baseline, tries to force his shot up, and he gets fouled by Davis. And Michael go to the line and shoot two. Seventh team foul on Grand Canyon. John, you, Moser, 16 points, 17 rebounds. Absolutely terrific. He just, the Rebels I'm, really needed him oh tonight. Oh, yeah, no, tonight, definitely. And, I, and that's, that's why I said Mike, Oscar, and, and Justin, they had to have good, uh, good games tonight. The only thing Mike Moser hadn't done well tonight is shoot free throws. Uh, yeah. Four out of eight. He misses that one, 70 to 55. You might have to talk to him about that. <laughs> you know, given given the choice of you or me talking about <laughs> talking to somebody about free throws, I'm he missed them both. Wow. Man. I'm gonna go with the 90 percenter. That's you. <laughs> In the front court, Davis, left side, Foreman. Foreman goes baseline. Foreman gets bumped underneath, loses the ball out of bounds, and it'll be Grand Canyon basketball, baseline left side. Oh, Carroll having trouble getting it in and has to call timeout. And Grand Canyon looked tired there too. Nobody moving. Exactly. So it'll be a 30-second timeout. Gives a chance to remind Unity. Then Monday night, the Rebels back here. The Runner Rebels back in action against Reno. Monday night, 7 o'clock right here at the Thomas and Mac. Runner Rebels against Reno. All right. Grand Canyon, I'm sure, with a little bit better idea what they want to do here. Carroll inbounds and throws it away. Justin Hawkins steals it. Great job by the Rebels. Bounce pass Hawkins. Off of Mosier goes to Thomas. He gives it out to Belfield. The Rebels reset to Hawkins. Hawkins down the right side. Justin. Tough double clutch shot off the back iron. No good. And Hawkins will go to the line and shoot two. Pickerel picks up the foul. He's third. I, I like what Justin's doing. He's attacking the basket and making people come to help or trying to finish. And 
And that's what the Rebels have to do this year. They have to attack the basket. And, 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 and even though they're shooting threes pretty well tonight, I still think as a running team, you have to attack that basket. As I said, the only thing the Rebels have not done well tonight is make their foul shots. Hawkins' first one is good. Justin unofficially with 21 points to lead all scorers. <laughs> Career high coming on. Hawkins' second free throw. Rolls in. And the Rebels lead 72-55, back to a 17-point lead. Tell you what, it's going to be a tired club oh, yeah. at the end of the game. Oh, yeah. I don't know how hard Coach Rice is going to be able to work him this weekend, although <laughs> he'll have, I mean, Rebels will have Marshall and Stanback back for Monday. In the front court, speed. Out to Foreman. Foreman down the right side. Lob down low. Oscar Belfield comes over and knocks it away. They tried to little roll down the lane by Davis, and Belfield from the weak side came over and knocked it away. Well, Oscar's man went away, went away from the ball, so Oscar had a chance to, to step over and help out. Inbound pass to Davis, out to Speed. 6-10 to go, Rebels lead by 17. Speed right side. Watched by Mosier now. Speed will penetrate in the lane, throws up a wild shot, and Mosier takes it off the glass. Belfield into the front court. Belfield, pass up ahead to Hawkins. Hawkins in the lane. Justin gets it out to Wallace for three, an air ball, and the ball off of Mike Mosier's chest, out of bounds to Grand Canyon. Actually, the official was screened. The ball went off of Pickerel's hand, ah. but, uh, but no call. Once again, John Kendall, Kendall was a little bit off balance yep. on the shot. Once he squares up, he knocks him down. 5.40 to go, still a 17-point Rebel lead. Speed, left side to Foreman. Foreman cross court to Davis. Davis in the lane. Davis lays it up with the left hand. No good. Mike Mosier grabs the rebound. Mosier behind the back spin move to Belfield. And the ball off of Oscar's hands. He saves it. He goes out of bounds. The ball's inbounds. And Davis all alone. Davis lays it up and in. Oscar grabbing his left hamstring. Yeah, that ham must be tightening up, tightening up on him. Hawkins will bring it up. Oscar's really not feeling well, trying to stretch it out. And the timeout called. Oscar's going to, I don't know if it's a cramp right now or if it's just tightened up. He tweaked it a little bit. Yeah. But uh, I don't know if Oscar's going to be able to do a whole lot more. It's 72-57 with 5 0 Warm Springs in Buffalo and Durango. Come on out. It, 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 it's last Bobby Hawk show there. The last two shows are going to be combinations with Coach Rice. But it's the last Bobby Hawk radio show at Born and Raised. Come on out. It, it, it's a terrific place. Great food and drink. <laughs> 5.07 to go. Kendall Wallace to trigger inbounds right in front of us. Throws in the backcourt to Hawkins. Back to Kendall. Kendall back to Hawkins' left side. Gets a pick from Thomas. Justin down the right side. Justin throws it down low to Thomas. Thomas to Mashur. Mashur left side. Slam dunk. That'll give Mashur some confidence. 4.45 to go. Back to a 17-point lead. 74-57. Speed. To Weselowski gets by Thomas in the lane. Got hacked by Mashur. And Weselowski will go to the line and she should get three for that one. Karam, Karam was feeling <laughs> really good after the dunk, and so he decided to show a little martial arts in the air there. <laughs> but, hey, but the sad part about it, he made a hard foul, but he's hurt. He's more the one who's hurt. <laughs> <laughs> he went up in the air, got hit in the midsection. Karam's not feeling real good right now. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, hey, you can be brought down to earth so quick. In a hurry. 74-57, seventh team foul on the Rebels. Weslowski will shoot two. Makes the first, 74-58. I think the Rebels would like to avoid having to bring Oscar Belfield back in this game if they can. Yeah. But that's a big if because Oscar does an unbelievable job running the club. Weslowski makes them both, 74 even, even hurt tonight, he, he's... He's come up with some big well, plays. The three he hit early in the second half. Right. Uh, you know, when you knew he was hurt, was such a huge shot. Hope we have that one. Justin Hawkins, front court to Mosier. Mosier working on Davis down the left side. Mike stops. Cross court pass to Kendall Wallace. Wallace, ball on the floor. Out top to Hawkins with 14 on the shot clock. Rebels running a little clock right now. Justin down the right side. Justin stops. Tough 17 footer. No good. Thomas with the rebound puts it up no good, but he was fouled. Nice job by Quintrell to grab the offensive board. Hawkins didn't see Mike Mosier, who was open behind him for three. I tell you what, 
the, the bigs for UNLV tonight, they've had to wrestle on every rebound yeah. because uh, Grand Canyon's uh, uh, Wazalowski and, and the other bigs, every time that ball goes up, they find you and shove you oh, yeah. <laughs> out of the way. Two but, shots for Quintrell. 4.07 to go, 74.59. First one's good, 75.59. 16-point Rebel lead. Quintrell's got to get a rhythm on his, re on his uh, free throw shooting because he changes it up every time. Dave Rice informs us we probably will not see Oscar Belfield anymore in this game. That hamstring is tightened up. Second free throw, no good. Karam is sure able to volleyball the rebound and a foul called on Wesolowski. Karam battling hard and doing a great job. His effort making up for shortcomings and keeps that ball alive. Well, I tell you what, Karam is trying to prove tonight that, that it, he can, he can, he needs some more minutes, and, and, and that's why he's hustling and doing the things. He, I saw earlier he, he was kind of, kind of overdoing things, but now. And just do those things that he can do. Know his limits. Exactly. 75-59, 16-point Rebel lead, 4.06 to go, and Karam Mashur at the line shooting two, as that was the 10th team foul on Grand Canyon. But one thing's for sure with this Rebel team is he's gonna have to, gonna have to be able to play defense. You you gotta be able to, play. And, and and I mean you gotta play hard and you gotta learn how to play position defense. Absolutely right. Karam's second free throw also no good. The Rebels have missed a million free throws tonight. They still lead by 16. Front court Davis. Davis at the elbow. Bounce passes left side to Pickerel. Shot from the baseline. In and out, back in again. He has been hey, terrific in the second half Pickle, of them. Uh, Pickerel is tough. Timeout at the next whistle as we're down to 3.45 to go. Bounce pass front court. Hawkins gives it to Wallace, to Mosier. Right side, Mashur. Mashur, one dribble and gives it to Justin Hawkins. Hawkins will take it back out top. Dave Rice forced to do things he doesn't ordinarily do, and right now running clock. Hawkins down the right side, out top to Mosier. Mosier down the left side, stops. Gives it to Thomas, top of the key, out top to Hawkins with seven on the shot clock. Justin's going to try a very long three. Why not? <laughs> Justin Hawkins has been lights out in the second half. That was NBA range there. That was CBA range. And Justin, <laughs> just a little bit out of control, commits a foul as Foreman tried a three, and he will shoot three free throws when we come back. Justin can't believe the call as the Rebels' lead is 17 again, 78-61. 3.13 to go. For years, it's still true today. At Finley Toyota, they'll do anything to sell you a car. John Sandler, Robert Smith with you. Rebels lead 78-61. Justin Hawkins unofficially 25 points in the basketball game. And, and but he the, just committed kind of a ticky-tack foul on a three. Right, Foreman's right. going to shoot three. Well, and he doesn't look tired either. He, 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 still, he, he could probably go another seven, eight minutes. But... Uh, I, I don't think, think Dave Rice wants <laughs> no, anything no, to go no, seven or eight said, hey, Let's get this over with. Foreman makes the first one, 78-62. Oscar Belfield's going to try to come back for just a little while. <laughs> Oscar trying to stretch out that tight left hamstring. Foreman makes the second one. And Mashur will take a seat. And I, and I think right now what Dave wants to do is finish this game on a good note, yep. not give uh, a Grand Canyon any thoughts of getting back into it. Ball comes into Belfield, and Oscar will bring it up. 3.05 to go after Foreman made all three free throws, 78-64. Bounce pass to Mosier, top of the key, left side Hawkins. Rebels are going to run clock here. Justin picks up the dribble, shouldn't have done that. He gives it to Belfield. Oscar out near the 10-second line. Oscar trying to get that, that hamstring going as he's trying to move. Oscar stops. Open for three. Oscar will take the set shot. No good. Quintrell with the rebound. Quintrell goes up strong, puts it in, and he's fouled. Quintrell Thomas doing what he should do, dominating a smaller man, getting rebounds, getting putbacks, and keeping the Rebels well out in front. And Quintrell's starting to use his body now instead of, instead of pushing and shoving with the big guys of uh, Grand Canyon. And he's, he's being smart. Fin giving a good ball fake and finishing. Unofficially nine points now for Quintrell. And make it 10 as he completes a three-point play, 81-64. Back to a 17-point lead with 2.40 to go. And Coach Rice can start to breathe a little bit easier. <laughs> Speed, dribbling out top. 
Gives the ball to Carroll. Carroll over to Foreman. He'll try a three. It's off the mark, no good. And Mike Mosier grabs yet another rebound. Board hasn't been updated officially. Mosier, I believe, has 19 rebounds unofficially yeah. in the game. Oh, yeah, now it's unofficially 20 yeah, rebounds. I, I was going to say, he, 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 he'll get 20 tonight. 20 rebounds unofficially for Mosier. I think the last time a Rebel had 20 or more rebounds, Lou Amundsen had 22 in a game at Auburn. Right. 22 points and 22 rebounds in that game, if I remember Man. correctly. I don't know if anybody's had 20 rebounds since then. 2.12 to go, 81-64, Rebel ball on the far side. Kendall Wallace to trigger it in. Wallace gives it to Mosier. Mosier almost fumbled it out of bounds. And now bad pass to Belfield, yeah, and Oscar gets get pushed. That. He can't get up there for that. Weatherill steals it. Weatherill takes a jump shot, no good. Uh, Garrison loses the rebound, loose ball on the floor, and it's got to be a tie-up by now. This is the way fights start, and, yep, Garrison starts pushing. Yep. Garrison takes a swing at Belfield. <laughs> Oscar just kind of falls away from everything. ID. The officials step in there and uh, trying to settle things down. Russ Pennell calls his team over, and Dave Rice is going to call his team over to kind of calm things down. I think Oscar for a long time to stay in this game. All right. Well, they are not going to assess any foul, any technical foul, and the Rebels will get the ball in the alternating possession rule. So it's Rebels ball. In the backcourt, minute 59 to go, and Mike Moser's going to try to get it in and gets it into Belfield. Belfield will walk it up. Under two to go, Rebels by 17, trying to give Coach Rice a W in his first game as the head coach of the team he played for in the glory days, trying to bring the glory back to UNLV. Wallace to Moser. Moser fakes the three, gets it down low to Thomas. Thomas back to Mosier, tough pass. Mosier able to control, gets to Wallace. Wallace in the lane. Wallace has it knocked away and stolen. Foreman with it. Foreman has it picked by Justin Hawkins, gets it back. Foreman lost his dribble. <laughs> now able to get it to Garrison. Garrison now top to Davis, a minute 20 to go. Rebel lead is 17. Foreman drives, lays it up too strong. Thomas another rebound. Nice job by Quintrell. Gives it to Belfield. Boy, this game's getting sloppy. Loose ball on the floor. Oscar and Thomas go for it. Now gets up ahead to Weatherill, and the loose ball lays it in. And you just don't want to see guys get hurt. No. This game's over. A minute to go, and the Rebel lead is 15. Especially a guy like Oscar yeah. at this time. You don't want to lose him. Oscar still trying to stretch out that right leg. That hamstring really bothering him. Justin Hawkins gets it up to Mosier. Mosier down low to Quintrell Thomas. Thomas puts it up, and did he get fouled or got knocked out of bounds? Got knocked out of bounds. It'll be Rebel Ball out of bounds. 22 on the shot clock, 44, 45.9, and Dave Rice will yeah. win his debut. Yeah. 81-66 is our score right now. Karamashore is going to check in for Oscar Belfield, who will gladly go to the bench. That hamstring has really been a problem in the second half. Oscar will wind up unofficially with 12 points and six assists in this game. Really uh, kind of a warrior-like performance by Belfield in this one. Yeah, he, I mean, he... He was struggling a lot during the game, just trying to keep that thing loose. And Hawkins gets it into Kendall Wallace. Kendall will dribble out of trouble. Tries to get it to Justin. He does. Justin comes down the right side. Justin gets it to Quintrell Thomas. Thomas puts it up and in. Nice job by Quintrell. Putting up a little jump hook. 83-66. Foreman with it. Rebels against Reno. Monday night, 7 o'clock. Reno picked to win the whack, so a tough game for UNLV. But they'll get Chase Stanback back. They'll get Anthony Marshall back. And Dave Rice will get some sleep, possibly. Davis just throws Kendall Wallace to the floor. The ball goes out of bounds to the Rebels. And that should do it. The shot clock is off. And uh, Russ Pennell tells his team, call it off. Weatherill didn't see it. See how the Rebels break this press. I, I don't know if they're going to press. I, I, Weatherill's the only guy on the floor who's going to press, I think. <laughs> we'll see. He's on Hawkins. 21 seconds to go. Rebels 83-66 with the lead, and Justin Hawkins has it. And Justin will walk it up, and the Rebels will have the victory. 83-66 will be our final. Congratulations to the Rebels. Great performances. Mike Mosier, more, 20 rebounds. Kendall Wallace hitting threes, and Justin Hawkins, a new career high, unofficially 25 points. The Rebels win it under tough circumstances, and the concern is Oscar Belfield 
limping off. We'll hope the Rebels will have their floor leader on Monday. We'll have to see. We know they get Chase Stanback back. We know they get Anthony Marshall back. But the Rebels survive and win it 83-73.